Hi, I'm Sonia Lennon. And I'm Brendan Courtney. And we are the hosts of the Lennon Courtney Podcast. So it's been about 30 years since I've had a first date. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to remember what that would feel like in my head. Okay. But if I was to play it all over again, first date, I think it's kind of important that it's neutral, it's nice, but not too committed, mm. and that you can run away really easily. Yeah. So I was going to say a walk down the seafront in Clontarf, and then I can run home if it's gone really badly. I would say absolutely, and it's where we do our Wednesday nights, Witty Wednesday in the George of Veda. That's the only way to go on a date. Okay. Entertainment. Emergency exits. Good. Toilets. Good. Other gays. Excellent. I actually said to Brandon recently, uh, we need to go out and have so much fun that you pick me up and drop me on my head because okay. that was one of the best nights we ever had. You were spinning your hands. <laughs> it's in the Guinness store. Yes, I was. I was spinning your And I'm sure there's people watching. <laughs> Who saw it? <laughs> oh, she's gone. Dash down. And she jumped up like an Olympian. Bye well, bye. I, well, like all the best drag acts, I turned it into part of the routine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <gasps> oh, a night out. I mean, bingo in the George on a Sunday. Still, classic, can't beat it, really fun. Well, I, I think for me, the best night I ever had in Dublin has to be the night that we went to the premiere of Robert Altman's movie, Netta Porte, in the Savoy, and then went to the chocolate bar for after dinner drinks with all the supermodels, and then Prince played a secret gig in Pod. That was the night. I'm not even going to try and compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> I had lunch Madonna once. <laughs> we know! <laughs> we have the best sushi. Uh, I live in the North Strand and it's Okeo. It's such a little secret gem. Uh, amazing. Only takeaway, but absolutely fantastic. And they don't do takeaway, but Hakan Kitchen in Stony Batter. It's, it's a pink front, you can't miss it. It's across the road from Walter's Pub. It's a theme. It's Chinese, but it's, it's all organic Chinese food and it is I mean, I have to stop eating there. I'm eating there too much in there all the time. So that's up as Donny We love our Asian. Yeah, obviously. God, imagine if you could go back, though. I'm the one that got away. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if you could go back and go on a sort of um, a platonic date with Oscar Wilde. No. Oh, no, I would like that. Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? Breakfast, dinner and tea? That is a great question. It's kind of like if Luke, Kelly and Twink had a baby. Uh, that's very good. Thank you. Not so much Twink. <laughs> because you know what they say about... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> that's not bad now, that's, that's not, not bad. Spin the dial a little go bit. Go on, go on. I think it depends on where you live in Dublin, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it depends on how you feel about Dublin. Um, I think... Molly Malone and Oscar Wilde are a bit more of a, for me, because there's a big gay element to Dublin. It's yeah. queer and welcoming and open. And you get that from all the people who come here. They're very impressed by how open it is and how welcoming it is. Um, so I would say, and, and it's so funny when you walk by the, the square where Oscar Wilde's up on the rock, and you kind of go, oh, what's that? But after a while, it grows on you. It does. And it's a beautiful statue, it actually. It is. Yeah. It is. Like starting going out, out, um, 14, 15, 16, we were going to a place called Bogey's Bar in the in Bloom's Hotel oh and the apartment, which was a bit rough but a bit fun. And then I came out at 19 and then it was Parliament George. And the George is still there, obviously. Sha then I became a big Shaft reveler. And there's good. a certain generation of our, our Dublin Risk. people. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a party place, Shaft was. It was a great nightclub town back in those days. Well, it was, it was like... It was finding itself as an artistic hub or as a cultural identity. It was finding its own identity. So there was lots of subversive drag. Yeah. There was mental clubs. Um, and, and now it's, it's good because now it's, it's, it's open. It's open and, and accessible. And then am licensed. That's all we did. I'm glad that didn't exist when I was young. I'd be dead. But uh, I would be no Lennon. We went out every night. Yeah. We went out every night, pretty much, for my 20s. Every night. And he's still here. I'm still here. Let's go. Dublin's Good Times. 98 98 FM.